Hey everybody, welcome back to Medina County, Texas GMRS YouTube channel. I wanted to give you a quick overview of the poor man's repeater that we had set up and we're testing different antennas, making sure that we were going to get good coverage before we went to this giant bad boy right here. Some of you who are wanting to do a GMRS repeater, I, I might recommend a poor man's repeater. Uh, to start off with, uh, especially if you're in a very hilly terrain like we are, to make sure that uh, you're using uh, an antenna that's going to give you good coverage to make sure that you have the right antenna height. Um, there would be nothing worse than spending $1,200 or so on something like this uh, to find out that uh, you don't have that good of coverage, right? So. Here are the components. You need a GMRS radio that you can easily adapt a patch cord to that's going to lead to the amplifier. You need a GMRS radio that is compatible uh, with the K-type uh, plug. You are going to need a Surecom SR112. Uh, I think they sell them under different names, but this is your recorder box. And then the other thing you're going to need is, and I don't have this one hooked up right now because the big boy repeater is hooked up, you're going to need some type of external antenna, right? That's going to lead out of your shack or wherever you have this set up or mounted to your vehicle, wherever you have it. Um, so, the radio that you program, it needs to listen in on the frequencies your handhelds in the field transmit on, and it needs to transmit on the frequency in which your handhelds in the field listen on or receive on. Okay, so this has to be programmed backwards from this. All right. So that's step number one. Um, step number two, if you can get a radio, and, and I have one for this. I just didn't bring it in here. It's out in the car. If you, if you have a radio that has a uh, one of these that plugs into a cigarette lighter or can plug into a power inverter, that would be a lot better, right? That would be much better than having to change batteries all the time. But if this is some kind of emergency situation or you're just going to use it out camping and you know you're going to go hiking, um, then you could use one with a battery, right? If you can get an extended battery, that would probably be even better. So the amplifier, it's up to 40 watts. You would want to turn the power down on your HT that you have hooked to it to make sure, that depending on what the max power is on this, uh, you just don't want to crank too many watts through this uh, amplifier and send your shack or car or whatever up in flames. No, I'm kidding. Um, I guess anything's possible, but you just, you just want to read the directions very well on what wattage you need to put through here in order to get whatever you're wanting out of here because this fluctuates based on how much you're cranking out here but the max is 40 coming out of this um, so one of these plugs is a power cable the other one is, an, is just an audio jack if I can get it out of there one handed it's just an audio jack that leads around to your type plug on the side of the radio and basically once you have it programmed right you have your your CTCSS your PL tones whatever you're going to program in there um, when you key up on your handheld out in the field this receives it it dumps it into this box and as soon as you release the mic it spits it back out through the radio to the radio through the antenna, 
and through your amplifier at whatever watts that you're getting out of out of this unit once again that's based on your power setting on this handheld once again I would recommend a decent antenna I mean you could you could use something simple I have I've used we tried this in the past um, we've used the Ed Fong antenna which worked very well um, currently well excuse me after the Ed Fong we did a five foot diamond uh, tuned for GMRS frequencies and currently I think that one was, I think the diamond was like a six and a half dB gain. The one we currently have up, it's uh, 17 foot tall, 11 dB gain, and I can already tell you the results we're getting out of this son of a gun are great. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, I truly look forward to any questions you might have uh, or any suggestions that, that you might have for if you know anything about. Uh, Vertex VXD R70, right? Uh, I'm not. I'm not only on here to spew out my useless information. I, I would really like to turn it into some type of forum where uh, you know y'all are uh, okay with giving me suggestions, right? So, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please share it with any friends that you have that might be interested in this. Please like it, and if uh, we did a good job, subscribe to our channel. And I uh, hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.